Mm. So does the attributeless void that the universe is in have consciousness? Uh, Radisson, who comes here, and, and see, he, he says that the consciousness must have existed prior to the existence of the universe, and it must be contained within the attributeless void. But even then, we're back to where did the consciousness come from? <laughs> yeah, um, so it's always uh, been here. Yeah, yeah the, um, Rupert Sheldrake refers to, he said, to, for the universe to exist, whether it was a big bang or not, there still had to be a miracle moment. <laughs> Something we, we can, we, it's beyond our comprehension. But certainly from a physics point of view, yes, possibly something, as he says, can come from nothing. But the, the laws that brought it from nothing must have come from somewhere. Ooh. <laughs> okay, back to that. Um, so you're probably right there, Joe, that um, in a universe even created by quantum inevitability would have to have consciousness because there was a level Some, of consciousness. There has to be consciousness behind what created it. Yeah. Before something is created. Yeah, that's right. Although the mm -hmm. universe created, conscious created a universe without consciousness. Possible. I don't know. We, we can't know that. Yeah. We ask when we get there. Yes. No. Um, okay. Con Theosophy postulates that quantum is driven by consciousness trying to find expression. Uh, modern science rejects this. Consciousness is not in the equation. I noticed that um, Alexander Vilenkin he avoided the idea of a concept of an inherent consciousness. Mm -hmm. He avoided that one, he just says, no, I don't have the answer. It was um, interesting that the ancients, like, go back a couple of thousand years, mm. they all believed everything had consciousness, like what you just said. Yeah. So I'm thinking of the pre-Roman civilization in this country. That's right, yes. I uh, believe that, and like the Egyptians, mm. um, they had the same ideas. Yeah, so it's, it's there. Well, in some this it, country the pre-Roman pagan uh, beliefs that existed then it still exist now and you ask any pagan you know her, has everything got consciousness and they all say yes because that's what we believe but um, it's it's sort of it's a, it's a knowledge that you're born with I think nobody told me I always knew so, you know, where did that come from? Mm. It must have been there before I was born. I think we've all probably brought something through from past lives. I've always believed in reincarnation. You've always known certain things. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I think and we're, I think we're born... Reincarnation too. Yeah. We, mm. We're born knowing more than we think we do. Although, sometimes it's conditioned out of us by education and being sensible and growing up and that sort of thing. You know what other people tell you. Yeah. <laughs> not, not my way. <laughs> okay, um, well our universe does more than just exist. I think we have to agree on that one. We're not just here. Um, it's got consciousness. Um, everything in it evolves and it has physical laws. I do notice it was mentioned that even if you have a vacuum, a vacuum is more than empty space. It's, yeah. it's some, it is actually a thing. Mm. Um, so an empty universe that's a vacuum is actually a, an entity, whether that I presume would have consciousness. And there's something that has to create the vacuum as well, isn't it? That, that's right, yes. The, the, the consciousness of the laws of physics or whatever was behind it created that vacuum. Because if, if, if we wanted to create a vacuum, you've got to have a, a machine that, to do it. Um, yes. They're not easy to come by. Yeah, that's right. Um, yes, it's a expand, the universe expands out. And the vacuum is created within, not even empty, within a void. 
a nothing created within a nothing, as it would have its own physical laws because it's a vacuum. The first thing I've ever taught in science in school was that nature abhors a vacuum. Mm. So we started off there, you know, sort of, uh, and then some bright spark said, what about vacuum flasks, miss? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was explained, and mm. vacuum cleaners. Mm. You know, it sort of went on from there, all downhill. I would answer the question, if the universe were empty, would it still be a universe? Well, yes, it would. If it had physical laws, then it would be distinct from what it what it's in, you know, what's outside it. Mm -hmm. 